Welcome to Sand City Sports. I am your host, the Cape Cod Kid, artist formerly known as Andre King. And we're back again to bring you all the sports and current events news stories that you need to know. Folks, you can see, yes. once again, we have whispers in the building. Yes, yes, and, and yes. And the man yes. came prepared. Thank you. He thank got you. his gloves on, okay? Uh -huh. And he, he's ready to go to uh -huh. battle. He's yes. ready to go to battle. I'm yes. reminded. I'm reminded of Mike Tyson's uh, a great quote, you know, because you got your gloves. I don't have any, but you got your gloves on. And Mike Tyson, he said, he said, everybody has a plan. That's right. Everybody got a plan. They till should. Until they get socked in the mouth. That's right. Everybody That's right. has a plan until right. they get socked in the mouth. That's so right. you, you right. came out here ready to go to work. Okay, the man do you know? Do you know why I have these? Do you know why I have these? I, I don't. Inform, you know the people, inform the people why you have those. This is because... Last last know. last last week last you week. you invited me here. Indeed I did. You threw me in the fire. I threw you. I threw you in the fire. I wasn't ready. You know, I think you were right. I think you did a good job. So before this show, so before this I was in back. You was in back. <laughs> oh, I was getting. I was getting in shape. You was getting in shape. I was getting in shape. You we know had, what I mean? We had the Rocky music. That's right. That's right. We had the Rocky music. You was. That's right. Folks, that's right. That's right. This man got up today. Okay. Went in the kitchen, okay, cracked two eggs in a in, in, in a glass. Yes. Two yes. two raw eggs. Yes. This yes. man is in yes. training for San City That's Sports. That's only because I want to be. That's right. I want to be the Robin. Okay. To your Batman. To the Batman. Okay, okay. I want to be Kyrie, <laughs> Kyrie to your Braun Braun. To, to the Braun Braun. Okay. All right? I, I appreciate that. I, I want to be I want to be Mayweather all right. to your Floyd. To your Floyd. Does I, that make sense? It makes sense. It no, makes all right. Sense. Pacquiao to your Floyd. Pacquiao to the floor. I right, definitely appreciate the be. support. So this that's is somebody why I once again. Wrong. This is San City Sports, and here you yes, have indeed. the San yes, City. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay. In San City Sports, man, it came up with the concept, the term uh, that we've taken and run with, and so glad to have him. He's right, certainly right, prepared. Right, 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 uh, right. The gloves can come off. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. But um, business, business. Our friend Ezekiel Elliott, he put the gloves on. Oh. He put the gloves on in terms of what he what he was going to stand for, in terms of what he wasn't oh. going to stand for. Okay. And the news broke uh, yesterday. Uh, the man got paid. Not only did he get paid, he, he got paid. He got paid. He got paid, paid. He got paid. I mean, paid. He got paid, paid. Paid, uh, paid. You know, we went, we went paid, from paid. A, on the one hand asking if running backs are even necessary. Right. Okay. Right. You know, Zeke said, "I got to put my, 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 my battle right. gloves on." Right. Okay. He when, said, "Quarterback who?" He said, "Quarterback wide receiver." What? Wide receiver. What? what? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. You giving me my money? You giving me my money? You giving me my money? Zeke he is got the it. engine. He got it. He got okay. It. That he makes the it. Cowboys. Right, uh, right, suburban right. Escalade. Right, okay. salute to that. Run. Salute to okay. that. Okay, and so Zeke said, uh, before anything else gets done, I'm getting my money. That's right. And, and he got $50 million guaranteed. <laughs> $50 mil guaranteed up front. Right. Do you know in, what that means? In the bank. Uh, what does it mean? That means, hold on, hold on. Zeke, Zeke, if you see this, Zeke? this is what it means, all right? We think he might tune in. All right. He might tune in. Okay. Put your helmet on, Put your, all right? Put your uh, helmet on. Wait, all right. And it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. All right, it's okay. time to go to it's work. It's time to apply oh. the labor power. Season, go to work. Zeke, you Do got paid. Stop. You got paid. It's time to put your hard hat on, okay, and get the job done. Earn your money. Okay, this is a man that does the heavy construction. This is a man that year right. round making sure things, right. making sure the businesses run right. correctly, the HVAC, right. the flooring, right. okay, right. The con all right. the things that go into it. Right. Okay. Right. This is uh, we have a, a working class hero mentality. Okay, when Whispers is in the building. That's right. Okay, I'm trying That's to right. have That's that right. same ethos. Get your uh, hands dirty. Get your hands. Get know. your feet dirty. Indeed. Get out there and go to work. Do yeah. not be afraid. Put your helmet on. I know some people don't like wearing their helmet indoors, outdoors, no, no, but you no. got to put it on, all right? On. Safety first. NFL, safety first. You got to have a hard hat That's mentality. Right. Okay, once again, a blue collar mentality. Frankly, we were missing that last year on the basketball court in Boston. Right. We didn't right, have that. Right, we, 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 right, we didn't right, have that right, in Boston. Right, right, right. And, and a little we, soft. We, a, little, a little bit a little soft. soft. A little okay? soft. Okay. Not as rugged as they needed to be. Okay, but once somebody, you know, once they sign on the dotted line, you get what you feel that you deserve. Right. Now you got to go out there and prove right, it. Right, right. You know, you got to earn gotta, your stripes. You got to earn, you earn your stripes. You know, uh, David Definitely. Simon. Uh, in, in his uh, new series, uh, The Deuce, which is outstanding, uh, David Simon, obviously the creator of The Wire, and Tremmy, right. you know, one of the shows, uh, the name of the show is Show and Proof. Mm. You know, mm. you got to show Best believe you got to show and proof. You, you got to show and proof. So this is uh, fascinating. This is kind of a leading storyline today. We have a lot to talk about across the board, particularly in the NFL, uh, because this drama played out all through the preseason. You know, at points it was looking dark. You know, Very dark. Jerry Jones, I mean, he's, uh, he's a senior citizen, but he had an Alzheimer's moment. He had an Alzheimer's moment. Zeke who? Jerry Jones said Zeke who? He said Zeke who? He, you know I mean? Jigga who? Jigga what? Jigga who? You know what I mean? Zeke who? Come on. He come didn't on. remember who he drafted fourth overall, <laughs> okay, who led the, the league in rushing two of the last three years. Right. You know, he, he was, and so right. the two sides, it looked like you were looking 
uh, that this could have been a protracted hold that would have went into the NFL season. Some people had it going as far as eight games, you know, uh, being a parallel of what happened with Le'Veon Bell. But right. all of a sudden, right. you know, two, three, four, five, two, three, four days before they kick off their season against the Giants, this mega deal gets right. done. And so it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It's like any job when your employer recognizes your worth I like it. Indeed. and gives you that money. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, you're, you're going into that season full throttle. Yes. You're going to give your all. You're yeah. going to give 100 percent. You're not going to hold it till exactly. next year. You're just going to represent. And that's what now Cowboys. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared Indeed. because he got his money and it's time to represent, and I think it will happen. If you get everybody, happen. that team is exceedingly talented. Right. The right. issues with them through the years is in terms of their consistency, in terms of their chemistry, in terms of everybody being on the same page. Right. Obviously, Terrell Owens was gifted and Tony Romo was gifted, but were they always on the same page? Right, you know, right, the Cowboys, right, you have right, Dak Prescott, right. who, you know, irregardless, I mean, and I, I've been honest about Dak like a lot of other people, you know, in terms of what he can do without Zeke. But this is somebody that has more wins than Tom Brady in the last three years. No, he doesn't. Yeah, you know, more wins. Serious? As much and more. We're going to fact that. That's facts. That for you. That's facts. Okay, we're going to have the exact facts on the screen when we do F A X, not F A C T. F A X. As many, facts? if not more, wins than Tom All right. Brady All right. over the last three All years. Right. Um, Ezekiel Elliott. That's we, impressive. You know his resume. And Amari Cooper balled when he came over uh, from, the, from the Raiders. You know, just like Khalil Mack balled, you know, when he came over from the Raiders. Okay, so you put all these three guys together, Serious. young, in Serious. their prime. Now you're starting to get something that looks a little bit like For an Emmett Smith in the backfield. This is this is when we was this was when we went right, in the heyday. Right, okay? right, okay. My older right, cousin, two right, years older. Right, okay, right, so right. when I'm a freshman, this is the junior who's on varsity. Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Out mm -hmm, there for the Red right, Raiders, getting right, it done. Right. We're looking for the Red Raiders to do work this Friday, their first home football game. Nice. Okay, but we're taking it back to '98. Okay, and '96 <laughs> before that. Okay. Hold on, I, hold on. Uh, You're dating me right now. '98. '98 was special. '98 was special. '98 was special. That was special. It doesn't matter because you know some of us. Some of us are aging like fine wine. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Some of us are, 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 are getting better with the age, so we, 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 we don't mind, Absolutely. okay, I taking that mind. stroll back through memory right, lane. Right, right, But again, right. you know, in those days, you know, when the man in football, you know, was real, was real heavy, was, right. be, was very serious. Absolutely. You know, when people, I mean, do they still throw fits after they lose? Oh, absolutely. Cause, throw, cause, throw controllers. Control, uh, I mean. Um, uh, the, the console's getting unplugged. Getting unplugged. Uh, people are not getting paid on people time. People are not getting paid on time. You know, but, friendships, right, family right, relationships right, are being strained. Right, right, right. Now it happens right, on the PlayStation right, Four. Right, okay, right. This, this was this was the Sega Genesis back in the day. <laughs> this was this, this was the Sega Genesis love when it, when, when, when this was going. Yes, on. yes. Okay, for yes, all you for yes, all you new yes, jacks. Right. Okay, right, for this right, new generation. Right, no, 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 right, nothing about right. you know college mean. football '95, '96, Madden '95, '96. Okay, but um, Vintage. once Vintage. again, in those days, if you played with the Dallas Cowboys, who yeah. had the Troy Aikman. Who had Ezekiel Elliott? Who had right. Michael Irvin out at wide receiver? That was right. basically a cheat code. Right, right. Okay, right. average Madden players you like yourself. You couldn't use those teams. Okay, we, could, we we made it. No, you can't use you can't, this you, team you, you, and use and this you team. You, you got to use you know. And All people right. like myself, you know, who didn't necessarily have the Madden skills that yourself and Josh and Jose, okay? And, and you know, right. Henry Lino. All you know, right, all right, all right. He's bringing boy, the name. Boy, boy, boy from the neighborhood. Local legends. You know, you know, local legends. You know, the, the, the white right. hall legends. Bringing the local legends you back. Know, uh, in those days, like you know, it. but people like, like myself, like we had it. to use the Dallas Cowboys because it, mm -hmm. it, it was just unfair. And folks, uh, back to the present tense, mm -hmm. you know, you get a motivated Zeke Elliott, you get a, and, and Dak Prescott, for whatever he, he lacks in terms of skill, this man's leadership is top flight. That's why he's top up notch. there in terms of wins. He might not be the pocket passer, you know, and have all the crazy vision, you know, but in terms of just his intangibles, those are what make him a, right. a great quarterback, you know, right. in, the, in the $25 to $30 million range. And, and people forget, Amari Cooper, Alabama tradition, Come on. Nick Saban. Come on. Okay. We got a movie coming out with, uh, with NFL Films and HBO. They're partnering on a collaboration looking at Bill Belichick and Nick Saban just talking about coaching greatness. Okay. These guys don't know how to produce, you know, people that, that aren't battle tested, that right. aren't hard hat ready. Right. That don't right. put the, that don't, that don't put the, put the boxing gloves right. on right. every single day. Right. That's Bill Belichick is known for. Right. Do your job. Right. Okay. So those three right. with that offensive line, best in the league, with that defense, we're talking about Van Oy, we're talking about D. Lawrence. Okay. Uh, Jerry, uh, he, he did, and I'm going to kick it back over to you. Uh, he did the right thing in a couple. Here, here's what this means for me. Again, uh, Jerry Jones, I have to be honest when I talk about the man. i got to be honest, okay? As a businessman, okay, if you have four playoff wins in a quarter century, okay, okay, okay. four playoff wins in a quarter century Check. in a major American market, Check. okay, 
and still are able to have the most profitable sports franchise on the globe Check. in the solar system Check. in this universe. Check. Okay? You you're an entrepreneur that's I mean Absolutely. people talk about Jay-Z selling water to a well. What? Okay. I don't know if he's able to get on Jerry Jones' level, <laughs> okay? In terms of what Jerry's able to do, of course, in terms of making right, this team, pro and not just profitable, right, right, all right? This right. man is balling. Right, right. Well into his 70s, mm. 80s, 90s, okay? So that economic genius, genius, genius was put on full display in terms of this soap opera that had us all captivated, right, that was right. front page news for right. the last month right. in terms of whether this is gonna happen. And then two, three, Jerry had the money. Jerry had the money in January. Jerry is not a businessman. He is the business man. Yes. All right, all right. He, he, Jehovah's word. Okay. He's he's running the show down there. Not only has the Cowboys not been there as far as in the playoffs. I mean, as as far as being right there to get the championship. I tell you this much: jerseys, clothing. Oh. Um, Stop it. I mean, getting people to the stadium, bar none, bar none. They're right now the favorite as far as producing hats, T-shirts, sneakers, everything. Remember, Bill, it's crazy. It's crazy, and that's what it's about when you're in a business such as the NFL. You got to win games. Not only do you have to win games, but you got to produce. But along with that goes all the other intangibles, which yeah. he understands. Well, he understands and to, he, to, to get people to buy. Right, to get people, right, to get right. The, the culture. The heart, yeah, get the, the culture. The culture. Right, right, exactly. right, right, right. So, so what Jerry Jones pulled right, off here uh, is right. just another, it, right. it just goes back, you know, to that to that fact, that reality. Listen, Bill Gates, you know, Microsoft, you know, he, he left Microsoft, again, back when we were in high school in, in, the, in the late 90s. Yeah. But still, he was the richest man in the world for 20 years after that. That's where he's from? Micro okay. Microsoft? Yeah, I mean, Bill, Gates, Bill Gates, the Microsoft man. You know, we really? You knew he, that? You know, I mean, this is, again, this all is... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. People right, know Microsoft right, now right. because of the Xbox. Okay. Okay? Yeah. But back again, I, I'm dead, I got no shame. There's a history teacher, you know, so right. I, I got no problem going right, back in the right, day. Right, 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 digging you know, in the crates. We couldn't use it. We couldn't use a computer back in those days without the Microsoft You had to turn it on from the back. That's how you turn on a computer back you turned it off, you saw Microsoft. <laughs> right. Okay. Right, uh, right. You know, that, that monopoly. Absolutely. You know? And Absolutely. he left that. He left that monopoly and still was the richest wow. man for 20 years after that. Says a lot. That's the type that of business acumen that I see with Jerry Jones, and it has to be highlighted, you know, just one. Now, to, in terms of the player, and you you you, you mentioned this. You, you you don't you don't want to poke a bear. No. Okay? You you, you don't want to wake up that dragon. You don't. That's sleeping. You don't. We learned that in the Hobbit. You don't. Okay, if you, you you step up into the dragon's lair, you know where you are. Okay, mm -hmm. you better tread lightly, because if the dragon gets up, okay, you know Peter Jackson, the hot, it, 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 it's going to be some, it, it's going to be a problem. And Ezekiel Elliott, for all, and you you know this is you did a good year last week in terms of the inconsistency. He's right. inconsistent. Right. But you give Zeke a purpose. Fifty you million give, you, dollar you give, purpose. You, you give you give the man a cause. You give the man a reason. Okay, to buy in and do the things that he needs. Right. You're talking about a motivated Zeke, who people forget, you know, I, I even, you know, the man is incredibly durable. He don't Absolutely. miss games. Absolutely. You know, he had that, you know, the, should he have been suspended for six games, should he have right. not? That's still a debate that, you know, because right. the evidence, frankly, you know, was, uh, yeah. you know, unsubstantial. No, no matter what they say about you know, him, you don't, you do not make it to the NFL if you're not talented. And, and, you do not make it people, you know, if the, you're not ready. You know, Saquon Barkley's ready to tear the league up this year. Ooh. He ready to tear the league up this year. That was my first round pick. Indeed, indeed. That was my first I think round you made pick. a good pick. Definitely. You know? And then Saquon Barkley is number two overall pick. Zeke, Zeke's number four overall pick. Okay? Zeke is no slouch. Mm -hmm. And we, we focus so much on the off the field stuff that you just forget how absolutely talented right, this guy is. Right. He's the reason Ohio right. State got that national championship. They shouldn't have beat Alabama. Right. But Zeke got him for about 200 right. yards. Had right. no answer for the boy. Preach. Okay? Preach. So a motivated Zeke. Okay, it, this Cowboys team, uh, it, it's just, it, it's, it's frankly kind of magical how this is all pulled off from the business perspective and then from on the field perspective. Now, before I take it over, you know, I don't mean to take them all the time. It's all good. I love listening. I, 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 I love listening. I, 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 I get going I mean, and you, you I mean, your boy get crazy. Your boy get crazy. I love it. The fact of the matter is, I love folks, it. I love we, it. we got it. We, you know, we're getting hype on this show. We, Zeke, I don't want to see more than 12 carries. 12 carries. I don't want to see more because here's the reason. Here's the reason. You talk to football people. Who's his help, though? Yeah, Who's his help down yes, there? Yes, he has the offensive line. And this is, you came prepared. Our boy came prepared. And I'm going to kick it over, but I got to get this analogy out. You know, you talk to football people, particularly Shannon Sharp, he breaks it down like this. I get animated for sports, but I already let you know I'm not stepping on that football field. 
<laughs> I might play a little flag football. Okay, your boy is your boy is in his mid to late thirties. Okay, right. you see me, I'm still in the straw weight division. All right, I made all it right. clear. All I right. might, I all might right. still qualify right. to play midget silver boots. All right, all right. I might still qualify right. pushing forward. I'm not necessarily proud of that, but it's a fact. With a good offensive line, though, you okay. can do some damage. You know, you know, you but, could but, do but, some damage. But even these young eighth and ninth graders, if I, if, I, if I take one hit, okay, your boy's done for the season. I'm not about right. that life. All right. I ain't about the football. I'm about the mad life. I ain't about the football. How's your life. diet, though? If your diet's good, you can absorb the hits. Okay, you can absorb the hits. I'm about the sports. Talk life. All right, all right. I ain't about that football. Right, Where am I going right, with this? Right. Your man Shannon Shop breaks it down in terms of the hype and the real. He says, all people, you talk about football, we get crazy about it. You know, people want to know what it's really like. Here's what it's like. You, you can't prepare it. You, you, you had, here, but here's what you need. What's that? What's that? You need a good pair of shoes. Correct. You need a good pair of shoes. Throw on some, dun some dungaree jeans. All right. Dungaree jeans. Throw on your, uh, your shoulder pads. Check. Throw on your shoulder pads. Your big shirt for the Check. shoulder pads. All right. Put your helmet on and get busy. Walk out of your house. Walk down your driveway. Mm -hmm. Okay, walk down, take a deep breath. Turn around, okay? Sprint back up your driveway, run into your garage. Full speed, okay? I hope you have insurance. <laughs> all right, you know, all you right. You probably have insurance. All right, you got insurance. all right, all right, all right. This might have to be an abandoned house. Right. It might need to be an abandoned house. <laughs> Full speed, sprint into that, in, in, into the garage, okay? Full speed, smack. Put yourself up, walk back to the end of your driveway, turn around, do it, 50, do it again 59 times. All right. And that's right. one NFL football game. Ooh. That's the life. The hits. That's the real. The hits are serious. That's the real. They don't okay. look that hard on TV, yeah. but believe me, in yeah. real life. In real life. Come on. That's the real. And so back to Ezekiel yeah. Elliott. Baby, football people say you get better at playing football by playing football. Exactly. That's how you get better. Exactly. And so the, that's why the preseason, yes, we don't want them out there to get injured, but you, I don't want to see Zeke too much this Sunday. I don't right, want to see the man. Right, right. Okay. He right, just, uh, he might right. be in great shape. He was right. in Cabo doing what he was doing. Right. Okay. But right. he needs at least 10 days, if right. not two weeks. You can't give them. It, it, Again, right. we, we, we're feeling good right now. Right, right. Bring your but, bring your superstars out when it's showtime. Yeah. All right. But when with, it's showtime. With the holdout, my point is, I don't want this to be uh, uh, one of these great stories that turns into a tragedy. I'm not right. trying to you know random people's right. parade. Right. But if you think Ezekiel right. Elliott can carry the ball 25 times in a divisional game against the New York Giants when he just got to camp on Wednesday and hasn't no, no, played no, no preseason games, okay? No, no, no. I'm speaking for myself no. as a sports person. I'm speaking for everybody who has him on their fantasy team, and I'm speaking for Zeke. Yes. Okay, absolutely not. Okay, we need to bring him in slowly but surely. Absolutely. Okay, and I then, absolutely and, agree. And then you're gonna see the results, you know, come playoff time and towards the end of the season. I just wanted to finish on that. You know, he's coming back, yeah. but in week one, you know, we don't necessarily, you know, you might even have to take an L to the Giants, okay, because, and, and let Tony Pollard learn the job because Zeke, he's not ready to go um, from week one. I went on and on and on, but just, you know, in terms of the Jerry Jones, in terms of this whole situation, you yes. know, how, 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 you know, just in concluding thoughts on that. In conclusion, I'm gonna say this. Zeke, you got your oh, money. Indeed, 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 indeed. It's raining, it's raining. Now, don't act funny. Oh, true, true, true. All right, don't act funny. Get out there, That's work it. your butt off. That's important. And make sure you show them folks right. that they didn't waste, waste their money. That's right. All right? That's my only advice. I like that. Other than that, you got this. Yes. I hated on you last week, but that was last week. <laughs> true, true, true. Every day's a new day exactly, to exactly. change and make it rain. That, you know, all right? it, it was all good all right. just a week ago. It was all good now just we a in, week Now we're in a new way, you know <laughs> right. what I mean? So we, we, right. we can switch it up. We can right. switch it up. We go, right. you right. know, point to right. point. We're going to right. stay in the NFL. We got a lot uh, to talk about, and we're going to bounce around a little bit. But uh, I got I to gotta say... What's that? Uh, there, 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 there's, there's more drama. There's more drama in, in the land of the Raiders. Where, when is there, it? There? There, there, there's more drama in. And this, LA drama? There, no? You know, what? there's plenty of drama going on in LA, but sometimes people is making millions from the drama. Right. You know, right. when it's Brad Pitt right. and Leonardo DiCaprio right. and right. Quentin Tarantino and Once Upon a Time <laughs> okay. in Hollywood, All which right. is a great movie. Go ahead and check that out. Then the drama out. makes sense. Yeah, then, then the drama makes sense. Okay. All but right. the drama All surrounding right. the Oakland right. Raiders, it, it, it's continuous. It's nonstop, and, and AB, you know, now we have Is a it whole, a distraction? It's, it's a, you know, he came, you know, so we already talked about the, the, the frostbite. Man got frostbite to start the season, okay? Went to the cryotherapy, didn't want to wear the proper equipment, and allegedly got frostbite. On his feet? On, on, on a man's feet, okay? Then, you know- Take I, care I, of your I, feet, I'm boy. Bleeding. Then, the next thing was, NFL let you guys know in January that new helmets were coming. Come okay? on. You know, on, he's acting thing, brand you know, new. You know, now all of a sudden, time to go to camp, you know, he has an issue with what the NFL let them know, you know, Basically, on the trip around the sun ago. You should have been well known that. We got through that. Okay? Showed up for a couple practices, played a couple preseason games. Now, all of a sudden, the new storyline with AB is he's stunned. The man missed practice, he missed time in camp. 
based on your contract, they have to find you. That's a part of the collective bargaining agreement, okay? The team would get sued, hmm. okay? I'll bring in Ari Gold on this if I have to, but I'm, I'm fairly, you can't find some people and then not find other people. Right, right, When we're talking right. about real money. Right, We can't right. say Tom Brady does, gets, doesn't get a fine because he's Tom Brady. Tom Brady wouldn't be missing no practice anyway. Right, Tom right. Brady's going to more practices. Right. Bill Belichick has to keep him away from, you know, he, right. Tom, you're not practicing today. Right. You need a day for Giselle and your kids, mm. okay? You have to keep him out of the stadium, right. okay? But on the other hand, you can't take this guy's money for doing something and then not take this guy's money. Correct. Okay? Correct. It, it's not it's gonna not work. Fair. You know, it's... You're opening up liability, millions and millions. Right. So you miss, you, they right. have to find you. Right. This is this is news right. to AB. Right. And he's stunned. I think and, it's and, part of his soap opera. I think in a way he needs this. He needs I, I the agree. attention. I mean, he needs the drama. To to really show out. Yes. Some people need the bright lights. True, Some true. people need the drama. Yes. Some people need that kick in that they do. to they get do. them going. They do. And talent, he is out of this world. He doesn't need to do all this. But the fact that he still does it makes me think, is it calculated? Is, 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 is sure. everybody thinks he's not ready, but is he really ready, ready? Okay, I, I, I agree with your, your what you're saying in terms of it being calculated and building his brand and this whole social media right. narrative. Right, because we're talking about yeah, him. we're talking about it, someone for Everybody's him. talking about him. Is this part of his plan? It might, it might be part of his plan. You know, maybe we discussed this. You know, I don't necessarily watch Keeping Up the Kardashians. Right, you know? right, right. But right. your homegirl, Kendall <laughs> right. Jenner, you know, is a billionaire. Right, right. He's a billionaire. Right, I, didn't right. million. I didn't say million. I didn't say 100 million. Right, right, right. Billion? I, I didn't say 500 million. You said billion. I said billionaire. No, I don't even know if she's 25. How many zeros is that? That's quite a few zeros. All right. Okay. All right, all right. And, and, and if she didn't have tens of millions of IG followers to let them know when right. she puts her new cosmetic line out right. or when a new episode is coming out, right. I don't know if she's a billionaire before she's reached the quarter century mark. <laughs> okay. But the fact of the matter is, yes, this drama, you know, and yeah, it, it is incredibly profitable for your brand, so on and forth. I buy all of that. Okay. But in terms of winning football games, it doesn't win you football. Which games. is which is what he's originally paid to do. Correct. We care about him Correct. because right. he, you know right. he's a, a right. you know there's You're plenty right. of wide receivers right. you know on the depth chart that are ten that we don't really right. care about. Right. Right. But we care about him because he's a really good football player. Right. Right. Okay. Right. So that's the foundation. If he's in the drama, he should get in the movies. Is what you're saying? Yeah. If that's going to be his, because so, it appears to be his sole business. Okay. It appears to be the sole business. Right. You know, and right. I don't think it's going to be helping them win any right. football right. games whatsoever. Right. And the quick segue right. is. This is why I'm concerned. We got the we got the Pittsburgh Steelers coming to Foxborough this Sunday. Yes. We're excited about it. Yes. Okay. Whispers might be in the building. First he, game of the he season. He might be in the He's VIP. He's yes. VIP when it comes to the Patriots and all this. The whole team. Yes, indeed. You know yes, what I mean? Indeed. I saw some of the guys. That, mm -hmm. that, that, that was quite a legend. Oh, we had a legend's night. That's you know, right. Over right. at the Fresh Catch. Right. right you know, we, right. we saw Hoffman. We saw Jay. Mm -hmm. You know, your boy Steve Roy that's was in the right. building. Right. The Brady uh, Bunch. You know, you know, where everybody mm -hmm. was there, you know, but they're regularly at Foxborough, so I, I imagine you're going to be in, in the mix as well at some point in time. That's right. You know, but the Steelers are coming to town. It's a big deal this Sunday. And it's going to be some Super Bowl rings given out. That's right. You know, Tail we, tailgating will be happening yeah, tailgating early. Tailgating will be thorough. All right. We'll be very thorough. And it's going to be some rings given out. And it's going to be a great time. You know, but nonetheless, when it comes down to what's going on in the field, um, I think people are sleeping on the Pittsburgh Steelers. I will agree. I think they're sleeping. I because will agree. this idea that if you don't have these do these diva superstars, you can't win, I think it's Fugazi. Very. I think it's Fugazi. Very, Shout very, out my man Lefty and Donnie very, Roscoe. That great very, movie, you know what I mean? Great movie, you know, again, again very, back. It's still good. Very. And Fugazi. Okay, I think you get better without the prima donna drama. That's why I had no problem with Ty Kyrie taking his talents to Brooklyn or wherever, wherever else he needed to go. Okay? Because this last year, there was too much diva drama, which does nothing in competitive sports. It might sell magazines, it might add Twitter followers, Instagram followers, Facebook followers, whatever you're trying to do. Right. But when it comes down to, you know, the hard hat business, you know, putting your hard hat on and going to work, okay, you, 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 you put your company in the red, okay? You, you, you're wasting company time. You're Absolutely. not doing Absolutely. what you need to be doing. Absolutely. And so the Steelers, without, particularly AB, Le'Veon held out, I think, you know, AB, I can't put him in the same category. Mm. I think this football team is, again, hungry. I think they're motivated. I think they got a chip on their shoulder because people, people are sleeping on them. Just writing them and off. Now you're allowing a, a very solid coach. I think Mike Thomas, and, and this is this is the time for him. You won your Super Bowls early with Bill Cowher's talent. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was Bill Cowher's talent you won your Super Bowls with. Mm. Okay, now, and then and then you had some talented guys. You know, the Mike Williams. I remember. What Brittany have you on, done for and, me and lately? And AB and Juju what and have you done so for me lately? Okay, but. It's time for you, are, are, are you, I mean, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I, their tradition is that they, they don't go, you know, run through culture, which is outstanding. 
They have right, had maybe right. three coaches in the, right. in the last century. Right. But in terms of Mike right. Tomlin, this is the time for you, what you can do as a coach and player develop. Mike Tomlin, he has a good quote, you know, I will deal with it until I replace it. I'll deal with it until I can replace it. Ooh. Okay, so I got my talent, I'm gonna deal until I can replace it. It's okay. one to grow with. Yeah, That's you know? one to grow and, with. And so he dealt with, you know, these personnel, but you never got over the hump. And last year, you didn't even make the playoffs. Right. Frankly. Right. So now you have your team, your way. You got a chance. Can you even get in the conversation? You obviously, Belichick is in a whole nother stratosphere. Okay? But Bill Belichick has won six Super Bowls with Tom Brady. With Tom Brady. Right. But right. doing it the Patriots way. Right. Doing it right. his way. Right. right. Okay? I'm letting guys go a year early rather than a year late. I don't care what you think. Who wins? Okay? Who wins? Exactly. Who wins? Who wins at the end of the day? And last Absolutely. year we saw that on full display when I, I never, I'll mention it however many times I have to. That Kansas City team, the talent on that roster, at home, they should have won that game. I guess the they were the favorites. Everything Andy Reid's never won a Super Bowl. That was his time to get one. Bill Belichick mm -hmm. and the Patriot way without Josh Gordon slamming the table. Right? I'm going to slam some more. It's all good. It's okay? all good. You're feeling, it. You're feeling City, it. Okay? And I said that they slapped the taste out of Kansas City's mouth. Woo. Okay? It should have been 21 nothing in the first half. They made their comeback in the second half, went to OT. They charged all the way down the field, scored a touchdown. Ran right down their throat. Game over. Patriots you're not way. Getting, you're not getting the ball back. Patriots way. Okay? Patriots and, way. And so it's, it's that's why, you know, and Mike Tomlin, again, I believe me, I, you know, and we're going to talk about Greg Popovich as well because he's on the hot seat as well as far as I'm concerned with Team USA. This is his time to show that he can get it done and be a great coach and have this team be in the mix. Because again, if it doesn't work out, then it might be time for Mike Tomlin to go. If it doesn't work out, now nah, I'm sorry. You know, they How like long is too long? You know, if you can't do it with all, if you couldn't do it with talented guys, you can't do it with your guys, you might need to get another young guy. So I'm siding with Mike Tomlin all the way, you know, full circle on this. I think they're going to be going, you know, and I think the Patriots are going to have their hands full in his first game on Sunday. What are your thoughts? Is it fair to say, in every sport, in any sport, there are super teams. Indeed. There are smarter teams. Yeah. And you have to go up against those teams year after year. You could be ready. You can prepare. You can have all the clientele you want. But you bump into this greatness mm. every year. Yeah. Does that diminish your story? Does it say, a lot about your team, or does it say a lot about the Patriots or whoever has been holding the crown? I look at it as the Steelers have been great over the years. Coach has been great over the years. They have a quarterback, they had AB, they had running backs, they had it all, but they always ran into that super team that was better than them. I know that it's not fair. I know that it's not, what you expect, but I always look at it as like when Jordan was here, Indeed. Chicago, mm -hmm. and when you had those teams that would go up against them every year and would try to switch their rosters up. Okay, now we're getting personal because we go, we go, we go, we go right, back right. to what happened to Patrick Ewing. Right, right, and, and, right. In those right, early 90 right, days. Right, 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 right. I'm, I'm, believe me, I'm a Patriots fan, I'm a New England fan, and I love what they do and their culture, but they have set a precedent where great teams are not good enough. You have to go above that level Indeed. of greatness, you know, and we'll see, we'll see this Sunday. I would not be surprised if the Steelers win this game. I mean, you know. You know, I won't, you know, because Patriots usually don't turn up till the la latter Indeed. half of the season. And, so, you know, uh, so we'll and, see. You know, but at the we'll same see. time, you know, we'll it, see. It, you know, they every job, good. every every game is important. Obviously, every game is. You important. know, but if they get smacked, right? If they, if they, is it a statement game? If, if they come out, you know, with this every, you know, and you get smacked, um, you know, it's starting to, to say quite a, you know, that's not the shoe. You don't if the Steelers with. win, does it say more about them or more about the Patriots? It says more, it says more about them in terms of a new culture, a new direction, okay. and okay. now they're okay. ready to return right. to that conversation. Fair enough, fair because, enough, you know, fair enough. Uh, fair and, enough. And this is, you know, kind of a, a nice little segue here. Uh, you know, people are just putting the Patriots in the Super Bowl. <laughs> right, right. I'm, I'm listening to people talk about the Super Bowl, you know. Do any other teams play in the AFC? <laughs> Is it just because it's, is it, am I listening, you know, I'm listening to ESPN radio, I'm listening right, to Fox right, radio, I'm right, listening to WEEI, right, right. Patriots versus this person, right, Patriots Saints, right. Patriots Rams, right. Patriots Eagles, right. I, is there anybody else here, you know, and occasionally somebody will say the Chiefs, but it's just the Patriots, and again,
again, to that point, the Steelers were also in the AFC. Right. Right. And, and, and it right. used to be, we was like, well, maybe. But right. now, you know, they've just right. fallen out of that conversation. Step up. Step and out. again, uh, I think right today, that's they're they're on Mike Tomlin. You're on the hot hot seat. And are you go, are you still going to be the quote unquote Steelers, mm -hmm. or you know, is this? Generation, or is this time, you know, Big Ben, you know, getting over it, and you're gonna have to start thinking about resetting it. on that point. And you mentioned this another team that's coming up in terms of people talking about being a sleeper, and I don't know if we talked about this Jacksonville Jaguars. Ooh. Talking about being a sleeper. Ooh. And again, you know, we, we, we want to talk about the Hunger Games. Um, because of their offense or defense? Uh, because of both. And then, you know, you talk about, you know, you go from Blake Bortles, who, you know, again, and one of these guys that just, you know, talent, but you know, right. inconsistent or not able, you know, he's not gonna, he's just a game manager, frankly. Right. Poor man's version of Alex Smith. Right. And then I got a Super Bowl MVP. Right, right, And Nick right. Foles. And, right. and yes, Nick Foles, again, right. you know, you gotta give credit to the system and so on and forth, but this is a guy that can, manage the game, but also put you in positions to, to get a lead, you know, to put some points on the board. And again, that defense just a year ago, right. uh, Calais uh, right. Campbell, right. Jalen uh, Ramsey, if I'm not mistaken, uh, was, you know, they that game against, I think the Patriots were losing in that game. They had to come back I am to get Nick, that W. I am a Nick Foles fan. I love the guy. Yes. I love the guy. And a lot of people don't give him enough credit, I believe even when he went and helped them get that championship. Um, the guy's got a cannon, he's been in the league, he's took his punches, and those are the type of players you gotta look out for, who's been through the fire. And I would definitely, definitely call them a sleeper, and I wouldn't sleep on them at all. You know, at all. And, and, and at you know, we're talking about, all. you know, Cleveland, and we're, you know, but in terms of, so, Again, I, I put the Steelers kind of in that same type of a conversation that right, right now everyone is just the Patriots against the field. And there's some other teams in the air. I mean, yes, the Chiefs, you know, my homeboy and you know, my like, homeboy? Yeah, my homeboy, the, you know what I mean? My yeah, homeboy? That's, that's what, that's, that's, I'm making that t-shirt. My yeah, homeboy? Yeah, my homeboy. That, that, my homeboy. I, I, I borrowed that from Mr. Sanchez. I love Shop. it. I, I love borrowed it. that from Mr. Sanchez. Okay. All right. 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 You know, so, uh, All right. so obviously, you know, they're, you know, looking to just be, you know, the greatest show on earth. Nice. 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 They got a new defensive coordinator in there, right. you know, right. to hopefully. Right. Uh, but, uh, as I said, based on what happened last year and, and how they laid an egg, you know, and under the brightest lights, I'm still not, you know, I, I can't see that once, you know. You fool me once, that's right. shame on you. Right. I mean, you fool me twice. Okay. They, were new. they were new to the game, you know, though. So they were new. Very new to the they game. They were new. And, you know, you don't, you know, so they have to, again, show me more, and, and, and particularly when it counts, because, right. uh, you know, uh, they reminded me again, I'm, I'm, I'm dating myself. You know, we had some really good teams in Buffalo in the 90s. Very good teams. We had some very good teams that went to store four straight Super Bowls, you know? And you brought up a point about, you know, greatness and how, you know, dynasties affect other people. You right. know, again, coming from the basketball tradition, right. you know, the Charles Barkley's of the world. Right. Okay, the Carl Malone's. Right. The John Stockton's. Right. You know, we, 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 we mentioned right. what doing. Okay, uh, this is before all this, you know, championship chasing, hopping on teams, when you just stay with the team, you know, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of folks, you know, but at the same time, you know, based, you know, it, it affects their legacy. It does. Absolutely. You know, inside the NBA, which we're looking Absolutely. forward to getting back to, you know, very short order, about a month away, we're looking forward to that. Um, but you know, when, when Shaq and Charles are going back and forth, that's always brought up. Right. Even when, even right. when Charles and Kenny, right. you know, Kenny, a role player, you know, right. he, but he liked to shine his two rings of his dream game. Right. Game. Right. Okay. Right. So, so right. It, it, it does, you know, but he was playing. I mean, that's, that's the biggest beef with LeBron. You know, he gets there, but does he get the championships? No, no. Right? And, 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 and he doesn't. Right, you know? right, and right. So, those, so. Those, that, that three and six record, right, you know, we can right. say, you know, we'll give you that 07 when they shouldn't have been there in the first place when they <laughs> got past Detroit. So, well, but that's, that's still three and five. <laughs> right. That's right. still three and five. And right. the, the rest of them, you know, uh, uh, were frankly, even if, uh, you know, with Kevin Durant, my feeling is this. You know, so you probably weren't going to beat those Golden State Warrior teams, but you didn't have to, you didn't have to get smacked. Right. It didn't have right. to be a gentleman's sweep. Right. Or just a straight sweep. Right. You could have made it more competitive because you had Kyrie. You had plenty of guys to mix it up a little bit, and you mm -hmm. didn't. Okay, so, you know, LeBron v. Jordan, you know, we know that uh, Jordan, you know, uh, he didn't win one, or he didn't lose one, excuse me, he might not have played against the competition, but if he did lose one, if he did lose the finals, you know the next year he wasn't going to lose again. No, absolutely not. Even, if Kevin, the even whole... if Kevin Durant right. and DeMarcus Cousins right. and Steph Curry right. and Klay right. Thompson right. and Draymond right. Green right. and Andre Iguodala right. right. and three right. other All-Stars right. were on the team. The whole league would have been, been on notice. They would have been on notice. All-Star team versus his team. <laughs> yes, yes. You might beat Michael Jordan they one They would have been on notice. Okay? Right. But that same team right. 
okay, is not beating a Michael Jordan team two years in a row. Period. Okay. Um, and that's what, again, uh, Kobe Bryant, the reason that he has five. Right. Okay. Because he did get smacked by the Celtics in 08. Right. They didn't have right. Andrew Bynum, but the Celtics right. did smack them. Definitely. And Paul Pierce Definitely. did throw the Gatorade on Doc Rivers Definitely. on a basketball court. Definitely. Okay. But the next year right, when he came right, back right. against Orlando, okay, <laughs> you, 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 your boy Kobe, would, would, you know, I remember specifically in the press conference, he, the man wouldn't smile until the championship was conferred. Right. Okay. So the, the, the ferocity. And the next year after that, yes, it did go to a game seven. Yes, Perkins did get hurt. And yes, Kobe didn't have a great game seven, but he got it done. Right. Right. Okay. That's the so that's separation. The, okay. The separation is in the preparation. <laughs> All right. Indeed. <laughs> All right. Indeed. All right. And so, uh, again, with these uh, contenders, um, you know, if you don't, if you don't uh, break through at some point, then you're just a pretender. Right. Right. And, and we 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 we, we right. can't we can't give it to you. Um, any other NFL teams you wanted us? We 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 talked to you know because we're going into week one. Um, I gotta say, you know, we're gonna be including you know going forward. You know, we play we all play in these fantasy leagues. Yes. And uh, so one of the great segments uh, that I wanna or one segment that I hope is great that we're gonna be including kind of you know is uh, fantasy court. Ooh. Fantasy sports court, and, and the basis of this, you know, this is not my idea. This comes from my league, and you know, I got to get okay. credit to Preach Charmin and the guys in my league. Okay. But um, you know, fantasy, it's a great thing. We have a great time with it. Love it. But at the same time, sometimes these trade offers are kind of are kind of ridiculous. Do you do trade? I don't. I don't do trades. You don't trade. I do not trade. My league is all trade. about trades. I do not do and, trades. And some of these offers mm-hmm. are kind of bonkers. Mm-hmm. You know. You know, one of the deals, you know, we can do, you know, so we call it fantasy court, you know, in terms of, you know, putting these trades out there and, and seeing what the people think. All right. A guy, you know, a guy the other day, and I'm just going to name, he want to offer me Carson Wentz for, for Joe Mixon. <laughs> you know? You laugh, With a straight face. You know, with a straight face. You know, these are some of the offers, you know, Carson, you know, you know I, I have Drew Brees. Drew Brees is my quarterback. Did he do one of these emojis no, no, with it, too? No, like, no emojis. He was a straight face. He was dead ass. He was dead ass. All right, all right. He was dead ass. All right. All right, all right, all right. Then he threw in, like, a third string tight end with the same offer. You might get thrown out of the league for stuff like that. Carson went to the third string tight end right, for right. Joe Mixon. Who is the 20. commissioner? Did they let uh, this go down? Did, Who does, did, the did, commissioner should not let these go okay. down. Okay, but right. this is the, the, the reason we need to have fantasy court. Okay. Okay, to talk about some of these crazy deals, this All crazy right. conversation. That's the segment that All we're right. working on. All right. Uh, right. Kind of cool. going forward. Cool. Uh, so we, we, we basically, uh, in the last uh, little point I want to talk about, you know, we, 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 we got time, we, we, got, we got plenty of time. We, we, yes. We're moving and grooving. But uh, we saw that Jared Goff got his money. Yes. Jared Goff um, got his money. Uh, four years, 134 million. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but this is interesting because again, a lot of people were saying that Jared Goff was a bust the first year. Uh, you know, he's just, I think he was number one overall pick, not in mm-hmm. the top five. Uh, first year uh, didn't go so well. Mm-hmm. Then Sean McVay rode in the town. Right. Uh, right. And the rest is history. Right. Right. Um, and so, mm-hmm. you know, this is uh, it's interesting just because he didn't necessarily show out from day one. And this is another topic that has he earned it? Did he earn it? I think he did earn it. I think he. I think but this so. This is, you know, I want to talk a little bit about Jared Goff, and we need, but we also need to talk about Melvin Gordon as well in okay. this conversation because I think these two things are connected based off of the fact that these are two guys that went through hiccups. Okay. Okay. Just because the Rams went to the Super Bowl, they, they did only score three points. Right. Okay. They, right, they made it. They, they right, did only score three points. Right. Right. Drew Brees did throw that interception. There was that pass interference. Right. I'm just, you know, what I'm saying. I mean, so they got there. But if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if, if I have to be critical of Kansas City for how they they perform under the bright lights, you got. I have be to also critical. be critical of the Rams. Absolutely. Fair enough. Okay, because they, 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 they didn't really show Fair too enough. much under the brightest lights in either in either of those games. But nonetheless, Jared Goff, I think it's interesting because this might be, this is a situation where, and we're also gonna touch on what, what happened in college because I think you know we got three right in a row here. How much of it is the how much of this is the player and how much of this is the system? Jared Goff is getting a lot of this money and he needs to bounce forward for me because Jared Goff is basically he's he he's just like Ezekiel Elliott. I'm not even gonna say he's a rich man Zeke. <laughs> he, he's Zeke and he doesn't get anywhere. No, excuse me. I said Ezekiel Elliott. You know, he's Dak Prescott. I get okay. it. I get it too. Okay. All right. All right. All right. He's Dak Prescott is what I meant to say. Right. In terms. Of, his production, in my view, is based on Todd Gurley being there. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Jared Goff and that, that you know, and just like you know, Zach, Dak, you know, needs Zeke. Jared Goff needs Todd Gurley, and so him getting this, you know, type of, you know, top, you know, I'm not sold on it to start with. I think more of it, of the credit in this instance, belongs 
with Sean McVay. Okay. Now going over to Melvin Gordon. I would go for okay. all three, and now take it over to you. Melvin Gordon, uh, his situation, again, he, he struggled early on. He's trying to get his money, uh, so he took the hard line approach. I think it's categorically different than Zeke. First of all, because he's not number four overall pick like Zeke. Right. Um, and so talent-wise, as I think Zeke is better, he might not be that much better. But it has to do with the Cowboys are a run-based team. Their team is set up. They need a superstar running back, and Zeke has filled that void. So the demand that he has in that system is going to be higher. Listen, right, correct, correct. Melvin Gordon, I, you're, you're playing with uh, who many people feel is a top five quarterback. Absolutely. And Phillip Rivers. Right. In a system that's just so, so it, it's running back by committee. Right. You know, if, if Melvin Gordon, do we think that, that Phillip Rivers is going to take a step back if he doesn't have Melvin Gordon? Does, does Philip Rivers need Melvin Gordon? I hear you. You know, I hear you. Uh, I, 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 frankly, I, I like Melvin Gordon. I hope I, he, I hope he gets traded and gets his money. But the answer is no. Right. Philip Rivers don't need you. Right. Okay. Right. Philip Rivers was born long before you got there, and he's frankly he's gonna be born long after you leave. Big fan of Philip Rivers. You know, old school. He has a big family, family oriented. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been born since he stepped in the league. And with these rules, and never mind the toughness that he showed when they made the, when, they, when they made the AFC Championship game and he played with a you know a torn ACL mm -hmm. I think in that game. Mm -hmm. But Philip Rivers, I'm looking. People talk about playing past 40. I'm looking for him to be productive in his career past 40. He's a ball. Right. 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 Okay? Consistent. Yeah. Consistent. Consistent. And, and consistent. so, I you know just with him, he took the wrong approach, frankly, in terms of taking that hard line hold out, give me my money now in that mm -hmm. scenario. Right. It's not the same. It's not, you know, a parallel to Zeke. Right. You know? And right, so right, right. I think it might have served him better to go to training camp, maybe play and just say, I, right. I want to be traded. Right. So people can see, you know. Okay. So I think that's gonna play out longer and hopefully he can get traded to a team that needs a running back, you know. But frankly, right. he's not getting paid big money. Right. LaShawn right. McCoy, you know, these guys, mm -hmm. you know, because right down the market, you know, teams bring you in. Like we already right. have us, like we're ready right. for the season. Right. You might help us, but we're not breaking the bank. I'm kind, I'm kind of torn when players go and get their money because I can see where they're coming from. It is teams will get rid of you like that. In a heartbeat. Heartbeat. You can get hurt in a heartbeat. So why not try to get your money when you can get it? Indeed. All right. I'm I'm, I'm torn with with listen. Go out there, prove yourself. Or listen, I understand where you're coming from. Hold out and get your money. I'm torn. I don't know which way to go because I understand both both Indeed. both values. Uh, valleys, avenues, you know? It's hard to just take a hard line when people's livelihoods are on the line, you know what I mean? 100%. And, and it's, um, I wish I wish him the best, but I can agree with you. Philip Rivers really doesn't need him. Um, he really hasn't shown that much, and he's asking for a lot, so I can see where you're coming from. You know, um, if he comes out and shows out and says, listen, this is what you are missing out on, then more power to you and go get that money. But um, I'm hard. It's, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to make a, a hard line on yeah, this. Yeah, for me with you that, know? you know, it's just one of these situations that we know, you know full well here on the Cape that our economy is very seasonal. Right. And it's right, a lot of small businesses. Right, right. You know, and so... You know, you, you know, you, if, if you find your niche and you're able to get in there and, and, and you know, have, be successful, you know, but because you know of the way that our economy works and it's a lot of small businesses and it's very seasonal, there's only so much that small business is going to be able to do for you. Right. You know, and there's right. only so many of these businesses that are going to be right, out there versus right. if you're in a big market. Right. You know, there's right. more businesses, bigger right. businesses, more. You know, and right. they, they can have, you know, they have right. more to, to give. Right. You know, but again, that, that's where I think he kind of missed. Misplayed mm -hmm. or he, he misunderstood the market, absolutely, you know, and, and, absolutely. And, and how to, you know, absolutely. again, if there was a team that desperately needed, the, the, you know, but the, he he's trying to get into a, you know, a game of chicken with the, the Chargers and the Chargers, you know, again, there's just like again here 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 again on the played. Cape, you know, these are small businesses, you know, we yeah. can do what we can do for you, but once the season's over, right, I can only do so much, right. Now, uh, the last uh, point that I, you know, in terms of these court, you know, it, is um, college football is great, it's outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but we have something that's going on right now where if you want a Heisman Trophy in college football, mm -hmm. what you need to do is uh, go to Oklahoma, talk to Lincoln Riley. Yes. You can be a walk-on. You can be a backup. Okay? Get into his good graces. 
and, and, and the odds and you're there, are you're there. that you will win the Heisman Trophy. When we saw this week to start off the season, Jalen Hurts, who again was, everyone knows he was two as backup at Alabama, mm-hmm. six touchdowns. Right. I think the total offense Special. might have been close to 400 yards. Special. In terms of overall offense. And, you know, Special. So it's looking at a situation where, and so this is a situation. The last two number one overall picks, Oklahoma quarterbacks. What Jalen Hurts showed now, you know, obviously two is still there. He's a baller. Special. And Trevor Lawrence, you know, he has to do another year. So we're not, you know, but um, that's the situation. How much of it is a player? How much of it is a system? And again, in this, I think it's 50-50 or 60-40 favoring Lincoln Riley in terms of his system and how he puts people, okay, in, position, absolutely. How he puts absolutely. people in a position to succeed. Absolutely. Again, Melvin Gordon, is, in this, you know, I think it's a, again, it's a 60-40 situation. And then back absolutely. to Zeke and him getting his money, it was right. more 50-50 or 60-40 towards Zeke right. or 70-30 towards Zeke, you know, and that's why the money. Some coaches know exactly how to use you. Yeah. Some systems know exactly yes. how to use you. Yeah. They know exactly where to put you to not only help yourself, but to help the whole organization. Indeed. Indeed. And they do a great job of that. Great job of that. Yeah, and, 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 and that balance. Right. Uh, and right. just understanding, you know, is like, again, you know, you, you got to have that understanding yourself, or you have representation that has that understanding in order for you to get to right. where you feel mm-hmm. you should be. A couple concluding topics uh, we need to discuss. Uh, we got two basketball people here. Yes, uh, yes. You know, we're watching the World Cup because that's what basketball people do. Mm-hmm. Your basketball people also support the WNBA, by the way. Yes, we Outstanding do. basketball. Yes, we do. As they're getting ready to go into playoffs. Um, but in terms of the World Cup, uh, Team USA, we've mentioned this before. They, they, they took their first L in the exhibition. That first L in 13 years. So that was concerning. This game that they had against Turkey, uh, folks, and, and I, they, they won by one in overtime. Yes. They won by one in overtime. But, but what needs to be noted as well, Turkey was up one. They missed four straight free throws. Mm. Mm. So what you're saying, they should have won? Turkey should have gotten this done. They should have won? Right. Turkey should have gotten this done. All right. Team USA should have right. Never mind right. the fact that All here, right. here in, in, in Celtics land, you know, we're a little concerned. Uh, Jason Tatum right. rolled his ankle. He's going to be out for two right. games. Not, not too bad, you know, but he rolled his ankle. He's out there doing what he needs to do. This, um, I'm a basketball guy, so I, I, I can get dramatic with this. You know, this is a this this, this is a DJ red alert for me. I'm 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 getting to lose my mind. The horns and sirens are going the horns off. The horns and sirens are going off. They're going off. I'm All right. getting ready to All right. I'm getting All right. ready to take I'm, I'm right. getting ready to drive to Durham, right. North Carolina and hunt down Coach K. We we need him back. You know, we had talked about this on this show. For some reason, Greg Popovich does not have the cash shape. It, it's not even it's not even, it's not even Coach people loved Coach K. Wanted to play for him. Wanted to be around. And this is a guy not just. Coach K gets six figures to go around and give right. speeches at corporations. You know, this man, you know, the, the again, you want to talk about culture, you know, and, and hearts and minds? Mm-hmm. Coach K has that, you know, times 10 in abundance. Greg Popovich, for whatever reason, this is an all-time great coach. You know, he has an understanding, so on and forth, but, play, you know, he this, this is a, this, it's not even a C team. This it's, might be a D team. Is it, okay, the, uh, is it the coach or is it the players? Listen. Listen, and, and this is why we have two all stars on this team. Kevin right, Walker is definitely an all star. Oh, absolutely. Donovan Mitchell, absolutely. if he wasn't an all star last year, he absolutely. will be an all star this year. Absolutely. Add to that, you have rising stars. Right. Jason Tatum is going to compete for an all star spot this right. year. Miles Turner is going to compete for an all star spot this year. Then you have your guys, the workers, the uh, the Jalen Browns that are on this team. Yeah, these are not all stars, but right. these are serviceable NBA players. The, uh, my, um, Miles or Mason Plumleys mm-hmm. that are on this team. You know, some, some other people. Guys, this is not the team is not Marcus Smart, another right, gritty, right. you know. And I think the world is getting better. Sure, the world is getting better. Giannis is in the tournament. Let's you know, the You're MVP, getting better. The MVP is in this tournament. But listen, Greece took an L to Brazil. Right. Okay. So it's basically Giannis against the world. You brought up Jokic. <laughs> you brought up Jokic. Right. Right. Okay. Nasty. Uh, we got to. We, we got to get. I didn't get the stat. You know, a little. Nasty. We got to set my preparation game. I, I forget which country Jokic plays for. We're gonna get a stat for you in the editing. Um, obviously Australia with Patty Mills, with Joe Ingles, mm-hmm. you know, Bogus on that team. You have other solid teams, but you don't have teams that are loaded with all-stars. Absolutely. We okay. should be kicking, Beyond, you know what? Yes. We should. And some of it has to do, for me, with these teams. They, they, 
they play together, uh, it was looking at Valentinus, who uh, plays for Lithuania, and it was talking about how he plays, he's been playing for Lithuania the last 13 years, something crazy. Okay. Over a yeah. decade right. to support his country, so we love that. Talking about, uh, I don't believe uh, Luka's in this tournament, but uh, Dragic, you know, they're both from Slovenia. Yes, how they go out, yes. they play for their yep. countries. So, so we love that. Yep. And these teams have been playing together for a time, I get that. And this mm -hmm. team basically was thrown together at the last minute, because a lot of the not just the stars, the people that have been in the USA program right. for whatever reason decided not to play. It hurt my heart when De'Aaron right. Fox dropped out. We needed him mm -hmm. on this team. He would have helped this team. Absolutely. And that's just the type of player, the rising right. star. Right. Okay. The uh, maybe even you're throwing like a Lonzo Ball type of a player. Right. You're throwing a DeAndre right. Ayton type of right. a player. Right. Right. Trey right. Young was there right. and then and then right. bounced. Right. Right. My there is, is no excuse. Again, There's no had excuse. Coach K been, been at the helm? The De'Aaron Foxes and the Trey Youngs would have been on this team. A, if you know, you these these right, you know, Kevin Durant was there for the Olympics, the World Championship, right, the Olympics. Right, Kevin Durant, right, you know, right, right, he right. was there just straight through right. because he wanted to be what be part the of that. program, right. you know, the culture, so on and forth. And Popovich, he doesn't have that, you know, but he's still Popovich, mm -hmm. so I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Well, when, when, when you when you you know you lost the exhibition game, so that was you know, DEFCON 3, maybe. You should have lost this game. They should have mm -hmm. lost to Turkey. If they don't miss those four free throws, you win by one in overtime. Um, Folks, Does you know, Team USA still have that allure? Do these players still want to go out and be part of Team USA? So the answer to that is no. I don't think they so don't, anymore. And, and, and it has to do with, as I've said, the change in leadership. Okay. But the, the end game here is nice. Uh, we forget what happened in 2004 with that team that took a bronze medal, medal in Athens. Oh, right. I now again, remember. Now, now, I now remember. Again, you know, I, mean, because I remember. We, the, 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 the new generation, the YouTube generation, it's mm -hmm. just been gold after gold. Right. They forget the redeemed team in 08. People forget that we took a bronze again in 06 in Coach K's first run. Redeemed team. Yeah. But what people remember is we haven't lost a game right. since 06. Right. Okay. It's 2019. Right. Okay. We're about to start losing some games. <laughs> okay? We're about to start taking some L's. All right? And it doesn't really back, you know, it's one of these things, you know, like a tidal wave moment. I think they'll get it together. I, I, I think they'll get it together. Um, they shouldn't be making these games close. Especially in the pool play round. Right. This is not, right. you, you just pool right. play. Right. We don't have all of the right. top teams right. together right. mixing it up. It, but these are young players. No, no, these no. are young they're, they're, they're NBA players. players. I understand they're that NBA they're players. still I, I, young. I don't, I don't and, 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 and again, this team is not, you You, you know, Kemba Walker's no spring chicken. Right, you're right. Donovan you're Mitchell's right. not, you know, so you're we're right. not talking, but you you're know, right. not, you know, uh, Jalen, you know, these right. guys have been around. Right. Um, even with this C or D team that you have, mm -hmm. they uh, should be representing. You should be winning. Right, right. And you shouldn't just be winning by a point. Right. You should be winning by 10, 15, mm -hmm. showing out. Those coach K, and, and so again, this goes now to the coaching and the strategy. Those teams were loaded, but they also smacked teams by 40. Right. AAU style. They should be representing. You know, they... you know, we're coming from the Cape, you know, so, so what I encourage young people to do. You know, is to play for one of these programs. Shout out to cousin Tim. You know, mm -hmm. in, in the Warriors, you know, other programs that are out there doing their thing. You know, you know, you know, building the young people up. Right. But we talked about this. What you need, you know, in fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade is to you know get in these practices, work hard. You know, get a coach that's gonna push you, and then go to the tournaments with BABC and Expressions and Rivals and take a forty piece. Absolutely. You need a forty piece. Absolutely. All right? To let you know how you know the size of that mighty ocean of talent that's out there in the world. Put and on then, the throat. Yes. No making and, anything close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know and, what and, I mean? And so when I go to these tournaments and when I see those those you know, sneaker teams, you know, you know, shout out to Middlesex Magic and you know, rise, you know, rise above the cape, you know, these and when I see those young boys getting those getting the forty piece, mm -hmm. you know, I put right, a smile on right, that. Right, right, right. Put a smile on that. Tip your hat. You know, because that's what you need. Right. To give you the hunger and the anger, you right. know, and, and, and the determination right. to improve yourself and keep getting better. Right. Right. When Coach right. K was at the helm, that's how USA got down. Team USA got down. Okay, we was handing out 30 and, and, and alley oops and three point, and people was having fun with it, and it had that whole AAU grassroots okay. all star feel. That was the culture, okay. and, and not only not only were we winning, but guys were getting better. Right. That's how James Harden right. before D'Antoni came to town right. had those breakthrough right. seasons. Right. That's right. why Adidas gave him that 200 million dollars. Right. Okay. Because right. he was coming from that Coach K right. system and program, so when he came into the season, he had that junkyard dog mentality right. straight through. They okay. don't. They do not have that. Um, the hunger, it seems, isn't there. It and seems what, like it's yeah. just something to do. 
you know? you know? And and that's what Popovich needs to be instilling. And for whatever right. reason, that point is not right. getting across. Right. Right. It's an outstanding staff. Right. It's not just Popovich. You have right. Steve Kerr there. You have right. uh, Jeff Van Gundy there, right. great coach for the Knicks back in the day. You have Jay Wright, okay, who's won him a couple of national championships at Villanova. Okay, so the brain trust is still there like it's been in years mm -hmm. past, you know, because Coach K had, you know, Nate McMillan. He had my man Tom Thibodeau, who people forget is a great coach. Okay, what happened to him in Minnesota mm -hmm. was problematic. I'm still not over that. I'm still angry about that. Okay, <laughs> he had the Jim Beheims. Right. You know what I mean? Right. He had the Monty Williams. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, you right. know, so, 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 so we have every Everything in place, but for whatever reason, it's not getting across, you know. And you know, I, I, I gotta say, you know, when we had th this other sheriff, when the other sheriff was in town, I didn't see this. Right. You know, so you know, every all all other factors being equal, you always have that one person that brings the best out of you. And to your point, the coach that brought the best out of the best. You're right. Was Coach King? What, 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 what's Coach King? You're right. And, and Absolutely. So uh, the I, respect was there. Not not that these players don't respect Popovich because they do. There is just something missing. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if people are uh, the players are saving themselves for the NBA season. Yeah, I and, always think that. And, I always think and, that. And, and sure. You know, Coach K, he had the A team, and Popovich has the D team. Okay. Right. Right. Um, so right. that you know. Is a lot of it. I'm not saying that's not a lot of it, but at the same time, you know, it, this team is not. No bad. excuses. So, that's right. And that brings me to my last point, which I'm, I'm really glad I remembered to bring up. You know, you see this shirt here. This is Craig's Dodgeball Tournament uh, that is coming up at Barnesville High School, September 28th. It is a great event for a great cause, the Be Craig there. Diggs Scholarship Foundation, and we are trying to incorporate some of those same themes in terms of having six games in pool play, in terms of having a, a two out of three in the, uh, the tournament, and the, and the championship being three out of five. That's something that we borrowed, took right from you know the tennis tradition. Nice, you know, in terms nice, of again, nice. in like the major year round in tennis, it's two out of three. All right. You know, but for the majors, it's three out of five. Ooh. You know, you show up here to play some right. tennis, so you're going to play tennis. You know, with our tournament, you know, you show up to play some dodgeball. We want to give you all the dodgeball you all can right. handle. I might have to get in that. I might have to get into that. You know, so, so to get participate. Into that. You know, we have some teams still signing up teams. All right. Getting involved. Any concluding segments? Um, I just want to thank you for having me, basically. Indeed, indeed. We have for all those that don't know, yeah. this is my brother from another mother. Indeed. Actually, he's my cousin. cousin. We've been hanging since we was indeed. this high. Since knee high. Make, make, making blanket forts. Indeed. You know what yes, I mean? yes. Now, now we're no. covering sports. We're covering sports. You know what I mean? Same players. Same players. Different court. Different court. Sports, right. current event, and culture. That's right. And, you know, somebody that knows as much, you know, so that, that is familiar. Uh, with so many topics, so many uh, themes, you know, we haven't even touched on the lyrical background right, and right. understanding Ooh, of music, all right, all right, which we will be all getting right. into. Nice. But it's a pleasure. Nice. Folks, Thank you. that's going to do it. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe as you feel the need. I am your host, the Cape Cod Kid, artist formerly known as Andre King. We are so thrilled to have Whispers yes, yes, Ray yes, Sean yes, yes, here yes, with us yes, yes. in the building. Another great show. Okay, and we will see you here again the next time. Today ourselves, just in the bars, pain we feel. Yes, sometimes we do hate ourselves, but each day we try to retake ourselves. So yes, we peace of souls do today ourselves. Just in the bars, pain we feel. Yes, sometimes we do hate ourselves, but each day we try to embrace ourselves. Yeah.